Hello everyone and welcome to the Quampedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today we will discuss the lunch effect in US stock indices. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vodko, I'm CEO and the head of research at Quantpedia. Today we will discuss intraday seasonal anomalies. So we have quite a few of them in our database, plus or minus 10% of our database consists of uh, those trading strategies. So what is the seasonal trading strategy? Uh, it's a strategy that exploits a seasonal pattern. It is a pattern that repeats over the year over the same days, over the week, intraday, over the same hour or same minute or something like that. So it's a anomaly that repeats itself and is dependent on the calendar somehow. So one of the probably well-known anomalies is the overnight anomaly. There are a lot of academic studies that have found that US equity premium from the mid 90s is due solely to overnight returns. So when we take the equity return and we take only the nightly return, our performance is significantly positive. And when we take only daily returns, so the performance from the open until the close, we can see that, I mean, the market has not moved at all. That's the overnight effect. I mean, yeah, this chart is until 2007, but there are charts that are longer until 2024. And what we try to explore is that, yeah, we know that in the night, uh, there is significant drift in the prices, but what happens over the day? Yeah, on average, the daily performance is close to zero, but how does it look like? like over the individual hours of the day. Uh, what we found out is the uh, effect that we can call the lunge effect. There is a significant event, a significant reversal that's connected with the noon time in the market. So that, that's the time when usually people go to lunch. So uh, how does it look like? We will get to it, but firstly, uh, some background. So as you mentioned before, so we can split the trading session or the whole 24 days to two sessions. So the daily session and nightly session. The, the US cash trading session is between 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. I mean, this is usually daily session or how is defined the daily session, but there is a possibility to trade equities during the pre-market. So if you hours before the open and after in aftermarket hours a few hours after the market open i mean the liquidity is low during those hours but it's possible to trade but when you are a big institutional investor you usually trade uh, only during the u.s cash seance of course you can trade derivatives so the derivative mar market is open significantly longer than the cash market but when you want to buy the individual equities in a size or individual stocks in a significant size uh, you can use only the cash uh, seance and then there is nightly session when i mean no trading is happening and it's mainly from 8 p.m and until the morning hours. As we mentioned, there is a nightly drift. There are a lot of papers. I mean, there are some links uh, in our blog or you can find them, uh, I mean, when you Google the strategy. It's very easy to find the resources to that. This is the up until 2007, but I mean, here is the chart until, I don't know, 2000. 23 or something like that for 2018 okay so it's not so uh, so long but still it works very nice so outside the regular trading hours bulk of the performance uh, of the equity markets is outside of regular trading hours and inside of regular trading hours there is not uh, so much action and not so much performance of course but the devil is in the detail as it is said so i mean why the long-term statistics show that the overnight anomaly is clearly visible over the extended period i mean 1994-2024 when the window is shortened it reveals that the overnight anomaly is highly sensitive uh, to the start and to the end of the selected period. So when we take, for example, the window from 2010 until 2021, uh, the overnight anomaly nearly disappeared. Uh, so here we can see the, the daily performance, which is uh, from open to close, is the red one, is very close to the nightly performance from close to open. I mean, from plus or minus 2010, the nightly performance is not so strong as it was expected. I mean, we can have a speculation about why is it so, I mean, what is the impact of high frequency trading, etc., etc., but I mean, I will not go into detail at this moment. What is important to understand is that, yeah, it's really sensitive uh, to the time window. So, I mean, for example, from 2017 and 2020, once again, we can see that there is very strong overnight return and there is nearly no daily performance. So, I mean, yeah, on average, the nightly return is still stronger, but there are some periods in which uh, the daily return uh, catch up with the nightly return. But the question is, I mean, how does it look like during the day? So is there some uh, some pattern that we can use and trade during the day? According to sayings and urban legends among the traders, there is a pattern or there exists a pattern in intraday price action and uh, that pattern happens around the new or noon time. So the human traders go for lunch 
and there are only algos left in the market or not so much uh, human so i mean during this hour uh, there should be some pattern so question is what is the pattern so we downloaded the data we obtained the uh, daily data from flash crash from may 6 2010 about till may uh, 2024 so it's uh, 14 years of the data and uh, firstly we checked if there is overnight anomaly so here is the overnight anomaly from 2010 we can see that yeah overnight return is still a little higher than daily return but i mean there are closer to each other than over the longer period we concluded pretty much the same as the blog post and academic research mentioned above that overnight effects still exist. Uh, however, nightly and daily sessions converged. So there is some price action going on also during the day uh, and there is a price appreciation during the day. And what about lounge effect? So the second thing we did was to divide the daily sessions into individual parts uh, hour by hour. So we wanted to see how the market performs in the morning, around lunchtime and in the afternoon. And we were very I mean, interested in the short-term reversal opportunities. Uh, so let's take a look on the chart. So this is the chart on an uh, hourly basis. So the blue line is from 9.30 until 11. Then there is a red, red line from 11 until 12, etc., etc. The first thing that's interesting is that, yeah, there is some price appreciation on average between 9.30 and 11. So this is the chart that accumulated all of the 9.30 to 11 periods into the final performance. So that's the blue one. So there is some uh, price uh, appreciation during the morning hours. Then during the lunch or pre-lunch, so from 11 to 12, there is actually no appreciation in price at all or we can short <laughs> market before the lunch that's probably the better case and then after the lunch so uh, from 12 until 1 pm there is significant price appreciation and there is also some price appreciation from 1 pm until 2 pm and then afterward there's like no price appreciation when you put all of the sessions together that's the intraday trend so what can be the simple trading strategy and implementation what may be the simple lunch effect uh, strategy so our investment universe would contain only S&P ETF, so SPI, but you can use the futures or I mean any other uh, any other instrument to trade. The pattern will be probably the same. So from 11 a.m. until noon, we will sell the market or short the market. We will cover or buy back shorted uh, shares or I don't know uh, SPI at uh, 12 p.m. So at the noon, and we will go stride long. We will buy and we will hold the position until 2 p.m. The combined strategy, so long and short leg, is the blue one. When you just go the long after the lunch is the yellow one, and when you short uh, before the lunch is the red one. Yeah, of course, the red one doesn't have the strong performance, but it adds some Thing to the performance, the short leg it's around 1% uh, to the performance. The long leg performance is plus or minus 4%, and I mean altogether we have 5% performance. Sharp ratio 0607, the the maximum drawdown minus 10 to minus uh, 15%, which is I mean not uh, not bad. It was interesting. This is how the launch effect works in the U.S. market. It worked very well over the last uh, I don't know 14 years. Here I would like to say that you should be cautious about uh, about these seasonal patterns because they can change from time to time as it was mentioned before so the overnight effect may be between us but it's not so strong so it can happen to the lunge effect so it can still be there but it will not be so strong etc etc so one of the possibilities is to uh, trade this just systematically so i mean every day at the noon by s p 500 will hold it for two hours or there is like maybe a better way how to trade this anomaly and it's uh, i mean be a little discretionary so it means yeah, after the noon until 2 p.m., let's prefer the longs. So if you are an intraday trader and you are, would like to speculate, I mean, maybe it's better to um, go with the trend and, I mean, enter the longs and avoid the shorts. You may have a filter that will improve your trading strategy if you are an intraday trader. So, I mean, that's like an idea how you can improve your intraday strategy. I mean, just use the launch effect and use it as a, as a filter for your system. So thank you very much. I hope that you like uh, today's video. In case you like it, please send us a comment, subscribe to our channel, share our video, and I hope that you will join me in the next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Are you interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.